so one one can put it in that way. Why why not? Uh, you know why not uh, the possibility of exiting uh, just after the the arising of, of of contact? I think the answer to that would be that in most cases, if not invariably, feeling arises uh, almost instantly. It arises very very quickly after contact. But in a way that doesn't matter. There's, there's, you know, feeling is feeling as such is karmically neutral. But what matters is the independence on the the, uh, the, 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 the the feeling. The craving arises and that's where you have to intervene. You have to develop an awareness sharp enough to ensure that craving does not arise. Independence on the experience of uh, of, 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 of feeling. You know. uh, uh, where the feeling arises, uh, you know, it doesn't matter because that's the, the last dawn of the effect process. It's not cause process. So you haven't to trouble yourself about feeling. You have to trouble yourself about the craving that arises in dependence on feeling. Yeah? You could, if you were very, very quick, perhaps exit an, an earlier stage. But in a sense one might say, well, it's not necessary. Yeah? You don't have to deprive yourself of the experience of, uh, of Vedana. You might even say that uh, it's better to allow the Vedana to develop than otherwise. Because Vedana covers all sorts of things. Vedana uh, covers uh, not only gross material feelings and emotions, but it, it, it also includes the, the more refined feelings that you have in dhyana, like uh, bliss and rapture and, and so on. And perhaps it's more easy to develop awareness and insight on the basis of those more refined feelings than it is without them, eh? on the basis of, uh, of mere contact. So that would be an additional argument for allowing oneself to experience um, a feeling of Vedana but just to make sure that, independent upon that, no craving arose. Hmm?